Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. As you can see by the backdrop, we are in front of the King shelves. So today video, today's video is Stephen King themed, or more aptly, Richard Bachman themed. This is going to be a spoiler free review of Thinner, the fifth Richard Bachman novel and the last Bachman book before Stephen King was outed. Um, this one is... This one is important to me uh, now because I have read it three times before. This is my fourth time through it. This is the quickest I've ever read the book. I read it over the course of like three or four days, something like that. Um, it usually takes me about a week, two weeks to read it. Uh, and I absolutely loved it this time around. I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't know what has changed in my life to make me appreciate this book more now. Um, I read it back when I was a teenager, read it in my early 20s. I read it again in 2015 when I did the complete Stephen King reread, which I'll be doing again in 2020. I'll probably be doing it every every five years or so. Um, but, and if that sounds insane, you guys don't realize how big of a Stephen King fan I am. Um, but every time I reread re his stuff, I find something new, I find something different. Uh, usually my opinion of the book as a whole changes completely, and that's what happened this time. It took four times for me to read this book before I actually, before I actually enjoyed it. This time, I loved every single page of it. It was fun. It was a blast. Uh, sections that I found myself loathing and wishing would end the last time I read this in 2015, I adored this time through. Um, like Janelli's, uh, I don't want to, like I said, this is spoiler free, but Janelli's whole section, that part used to bore me, and this time I was on the edge of my seat, which is hilarious because, you know, I, I knew what was coming. The, the last a uh, couple chapters of this book fills me filled me with dread. Um, I had a great horror experience, um, which is funny because I just got through saying in another video that I don't think Stephen King's a very good horror author. Um, he's a great author, great storyteller, great character, uh, drama writer, all that stuff. But his horror seems to lack. This time, he actually bothered me. Uh, with some of the dream sequences and things like that. And of course, at the end, the item, uh, what the item does at the end, that, that kind of got to me. And I'll talk about more, more, I'll go into more detail in my Thursday Theorist video. Of course, this is not my Thursday Theorist video, um, so you don't expect spoilers. Uh, but expect spoilers over there in that video. One of the things that I, that stood stood out to me a great deal upon this reread is how good the writing is. You can tell that there is a huge difference between those first four Bachman books, Rage, The Long Walk, Road Work, and The Running Man. There is a huge difference in the writing between those books and this book. By this by this time, King has found his voice. There is no fooling anybody. Um, he sounds like himself. This very much feels like a Stephen King book, less than it feels like a Richard Bachman book. And this is the one and only King book I feel, even when I didn't appreciate it, was one of those Bachman books that I thought should have been a Stephen King book. Now, oddly enough, uh, this, like I said, this is the last Bachman book before King was outed. He would go on to publish two more. Uh, the Regulators, which is a companion novel to, de to the King novel, Des uh, Desperation. And then Blaze, which was a trunk novel. He told everybody that it was a trunk novel in the, at the beginning of the book. Um, but, oddly enough, Misery was supposed to be a Richard Bachman book, but King was outed before that book got published, because he was going to be publishing It and Misery, It under the King name and Misery around the same time, um, as a Bachman book, and that would have been interesting. Uh, this Friday, um, tomorrow, roughly, uh, I'm not sure if this is going up on Wednesday and Thursday, but this Friday I will be doing the top five Stephen King books I feel should have been Bachman books, because there's only one Bachman book that I feel should have been a King book, but there are s numerous uh, Stephen King books I thought should have been Bachman books. Uh, this one, it, it's it's funny also that this book feels like two separate books. There is a definite line in the sand where the first half of the book goes by and it has one tonal quality and then the second half of the book 
completely shifts gears and feels like a completely different book. Um, you are kind of removed from the situation toward the end, um, which I thought was brilliant this time around, and I caught the reasoning for that because of what the main character goes through, Billy Halleck. Halleck? I'm not sure. Um, what he goes through, and I thought it conveyed it perfectly, and I finally see, this time, I finally see why so many people love and adore this book, especially literary-minded people, because the, the themes are strong, they are heavy in this one, but one of the best parts about it is the tonal quality, the stu what King gets across with subtext, with the feeling overall of the characters and how there's that drastic shift once uh, Bill, Billy, you know, kind of realizes what he has to do to to get on with, you know, get on with the getting on kind of deal. I don't want, like I said, I want to get into to too many spoilers. But what did you guys think of Thinner? Let me know down in the comments below. Please, no spoilers. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. Yeah, not Thursday Thursday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.